So say if I was coming in here um, in a Piper Cherokee or something, and um, maybe I had called up and uh, you know I reported 10 miles out, and you told me report three mile left base for only four, and I'm crossing the river, and all of a sudden I report three mile left base, and I don't hear anything, and I haven't heard any other airplanes in a while, and I'm starting to suspect that my radio is not working. And I could simply turn around and go back to Venice where I came from, or over to Shell Creek or any other airports. What would you rather have us do at that point? Would you rather see 7600? Would you want us to just keep 1200 and enter the downwind or enter the It's the a last, good question. It's probably one of the, the last common described. questions I get with guys that think like, they told me to port three miles, but the, the controller was so busy I couldn't get on the radio. Mm -hmm. You know, that's another one. Or, you know, I didn't hear anything. That's when the pilot is ultimately responsible for the safety of his own aircraft. Now, I will say this, multiple times I've had airplanes come right in and turn base because they couldn't get on the radio when I asked for a three-mile call. Yeah. If you're at three miles and there is so much radio traffic because there's so many airplanes that you can't even make a radio transmission, all of those airplanes are trying to go onto that runway. So I can't understand the logic of thinking about continuing in and landing mm -hmm. without talking to someone when you know all those people that you can't get on the radio from are going to that spot. Mm -hmm. And you're not getting a sequence, so I, I don't understand that. So maybe that establishing an extended downwind or something. You know, either that or maybe, you know, climb 500 feet above the pattern altitude, join the pattern if you can, just get on the radio mm -hmm. as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. um, in a non -ra in a no radar or radio situation, it's probably not a bad thing to squawk 7600. If you squawk 7600 and all of a sudden, you know, we see that and we can either get you on the radio, so it's not like we're going to roll crash trucks on you and all mm -hmm. that. You know, it's a safe thing to do. You know, we know there's something that's not quite right. You can also come into the airfield, you know, get near the airport, do the old, you know, wink wang thing, you know, and, and that way we know, you know, something's going on. As controllers, if, you know, we can't communicate, maybe you can hear us, but we can't hear you. I mean, that sometimes happens. Sometimes we'll say, Yeah, it know, usually fails. It doesn't totally fail. If you can fail, hear my radio, usually, rock yeah. your wings, you know, if you rock your wings, if you can hear my radio, if there's no other emergency on board, rock your wings. Because if we get a no radio airplane, we don't know what's wrong in the airplane. Mm -hmm. It could simply be no radio. It could be just an alternator and everything's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Or it could be smoke in the cockpit and, you know, I can't see anything and nothing works, you know. Mm -hmm. So until we know better, we have to assume the worst. Now, we're going to try to find out first, you know, but if I call up and say, you know, if you can hear me ident and, and you ident, then I know it's good. If, if there's no other emergency ident, then I know everything's good. But if I don't get any response at all, then when you land, you're going to have some company. You know? mm -hmm. And that's just because we don't know what else is wrong with the air. And so somewhere on downwind or somewhere if they were entering a left base for four was their last instruction, they decide not to turn back to Venice or to an untowered airport, and they proceed inbound, they continue on left base or four. Somewhere out there on left base or final, they should start looking for some sort of light gun signal. Absolutely. Look towards the tower. You know, don't be afraid as you get towards mm -hmm. the tower to get close in. You know, lock the wings, try to get, mm -hmm. you know, the attention. I would Obviously, maintain pattern altitude. I'd probably yeah. never fly the runway. I would not land. No, it's set up for a land. Really not Especially until you have an actual clear yes, light gun signal. So not. until you guys, and so your light gun's just basically a big lantern. It is. And um, same as hopefully we have in our cockpit, the little placard on the side that tells us what the signals mean because no yeah. one remembers them. Yeah. Um, on an E or whatever, and that's what we use. Yeah, and, um, and so you'll just aim it at us. Yep. And uh, And it is whatever color that we're, we have to use for you. You know, it's, that, that's. Mm -hmm. Those, it's a magnified lens, so although it doesn't it's look tremendously bright on the floor, mm -hmm. last night I had uh, as far when you leave the tail draggers out of Arcadia, mm -hmm. he picked up that light gun signal 14 miles out. Oh wow! Yeah, and that was at nighttime. We need to yeah. go to or ask us a flash it. And, we'll and that was Barry out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry came in. Sitting yeah. student on board, wanted to know what they looked like. Yeah, yeah. shot of light gun. I didn't even know where he was. I couldn't even see it was so far out. But yeah, but he was able to see that. The radar, yeah. put it on, he's like, oh, I got you crystal clear. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, if the sun's hitting the tower just right, it's almost impossible to see. But at, yeah, at night. But you'll um, be surprised because it is a yeah. magnified lens that, that light actually kind of grows in intensity as, yeah. as it gets out there. I've seen uh, controllers use it for progressive taxi with the white light. Taxi here <laughs> at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow the white Turn light. Turn left. The yes. other left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just follow that light. And uh, that was a pretty that was a pretty good use of light gun. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below. And remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at mikealpha.com. We'll see you all next time.